guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And what in the buffoolery is going on here? Um, Ariana and Megan Thee Stallion and Jimmy Fallon have a Christmas song out. Um, very random. I don't understand why. Maybe this is for charity, okay? Um, but I don't get why they are making a Christmas record. Um, it makes a little sense for Ariana Grande, but Megan Thee Stallion know damn well she should not be doing no Christmas record, okay? And her part don't sound too great either. I just listened to a little bit of a snippet. I might listen to the whole record, but this is a no for me, okay? Megan Thee Stallion needs a hit record, a solo hit record, okay? The attachment to other artists got to stop, okay? Now, Jimmy Fallon is the person who got Ari and Megan to do the record, okay? But I would have said no. This is not really going to help me at all. I don't know if this is for charity. I don't know if it's just for his show. But they need to go back to the drawing board. Megan Thee Stallion should not be doing Christmas records. She can barely do pop records, okay? You got to move up the ladder slowly. You know, it's, you know, doing the rap, doing the pop, and then you can move into other genres, okay? She couldn't even really do that Latin record. Where's SG? Where is SG on the charts? Nobody's talking about that. Okay, but she decided to put out a Christmas record with Jimmy Fallon. I would have told him no, um, because this is not a good look. It's, it's pointless. Um, but hopefully it will chart because Ariana Grande is on it. So, you know, Ari has a big fan base and hopefully the song would actually chart. Um, I got to listen to the whole record. I don't know if it sounds too bad. Moving on to Champagne Thickums. It looks like he withdrew his Grammy nominations, okay, um, for the 2021 Grammy Awards. Now, this could be a plethora of things. If he told them that he could not attend or perform, then they probably tell him, like, listen, you're not going to win anyway. If you want a Grammy Award, they will tell you, you need to attend or perform because they need the ratings. They need them. You know, the weekend is not going. Nikki's not going. Rihanna's not going. So they need the ratings. They can't just have all these D and C listers at the event. And Drake don't go nowhere unless it's the strip club. So they probably very tired of Drizzy Drake and his antics. Okay. And since Certified Lover Boy was one of the biggest albums to drop in 2021, they would like these A-listers to start performing. Who do you think they want to perform? Okay? Who do you think that they really want to attend? Do you really think they want to ask Chloe Bailey to perform for the 18th time? Do we really want to hear Have Mercy again? They want to see these A-listers attend. And they about tired of Drizzy Drake not attending these awards, not going to the Met Gala. He never goes there either, but he'd be quick to spend $3 million at the strip club. Okay? So they're very tired of Drizzy Drake. He did his rituals this year, so at least he did that, but he has to start attending these awards. Why do you think Beyonce attends the Grammys? Not because she wants to, but because she wants to win. OK, and they will tell these artists, if you want to win, you got to attend. OK, most of the time they already know that they won before the awards start. You know, all the fake surprises on their on their face. Like, oh, my goodness, I won. They already know. OK, they're just acting. So Billboard reported that Taylor Swift is no longer a Grammy nominee. See, she had a nomination because of Olivia Rodrigo. I think Olivia Rodrigo sampled her in a record. And so if Olivia Rodrigo had won for Sour, so would have Taylor Swift. But that is no longer the case, okay? So basically, Taylor Swift and another guy, I believe his name is Jack, had to withdraw. 
But my thing is, I kind of understand from both sides because you technically didn't write on Sour. They just sampled your record. So technically, you shouldn't be getting a Grammy nomination anyway. But, you know, the industry about to stop effing with uh, Taylor Swift, okay? Because, you know, she making all this money. She going number one. And she's not really sharing the, the piece of the pie, okay? Because she's putting her own money behind it um, because... Um, Scooter Braun try to screw her over. Okay, I'm pretty sure Taylor Swift don't even care because it's not like it's um, her first Grammy, okay, nomination. She has several Grammys and she's beat out, you know, the Queen of Music several times. So I'm pretty sure she doesn't really care. But I do find it odd that they decided to, you know, change the rules for Taylor Swift last minute. Okay. Moving on to Sia. Um, the person that wrote for Beyonce, Rihanna, Katy Perry, etc. You don't really hear about Sia like that anymore. Um, she's not really on the charts. And she's not really out and about like she used to be. Now, she was never really a person that wanted to be famous. Okay, that's why she had that other girl, um, you know, basically as a performer. And that girl had that wig on. But she was still popping musically, okay? She had a lot of hit records. You know, some people say that, you know, she didn't want to do her rituals. And that's why she's no longer popping. Some people say she lost her voice, okay? And a lot of people say she did not really want to be famous, okay? So that's why she kind of pulled back. But she still releases music, okay? You know, I'm pretty sure she still wants them hit records, so, with that being said, let me know what you guys heard in regards to Sia, okay? Um, my thing is, you know, even if Sia didn't want to do her rituals, you know, everyone has to do it if you want, you know, the chart-topping hits and fame, okay? Now, she said in several interviews that she didn't want to be famous, but she wanted them chart-topping hits, so you still got to do them, okay? You can't, just because you don't want to be famous... But you want them chart topping hits. That doesn't mean you can't do rituals. So, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, as for her losing her voice, well, she's putting out music. So I don't know if I completely believe that. She's still putting out music. I don't know how it sounds. I haven't listened to it. But that doesn't make any sense to me either. Okay. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that. I do find it interesting that she kind of fell back. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.